Ladies and gentlemen, children of the interwebs out there, Sebastian going to be the strong style nerd, strong style cinephile, home base, Corona Apocalypse, you know how it goes. But, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about Black Adam and the fact that the, the Rock, amongst others, have finally said, yeah, production will not start in July. It'll start later on this year, maybe. But I'm wondering at this point, do we even really need a Black Adam movie? I was geeking about that for a scant, scant few minutes. My Black Adam was originally targeting a July start date for a December 2021 release date. Wame, Wame Colette Sarah signed on to direct Black Adam last summer, but there hasn't been any sort of cast announcements since then, although Dwayne Johnson said that a member of the J the, not a member, that members of the JSA will appear in it. Now, which members? Because of course we have Stargirl on the CW slash DC Universe, which is steeped in just the Society of America lore and characters. And in recent years, we've seen DC have a problem with stuff going on, on um, characters being used on TV as well as in the films, which is why the Suicide Squad, which was, and uh, Deadshot, who was played uh, phenomenally on Arrow, they had to be scuttled because of the Suicide Squad movie. And then when they brought him back for a later season episode, they were called, like, the, it was the Ghost Protocol or Ghost uh, something, because they couldn't say Suicide Squad, which was stupid. The idea that there will be a Justice Society of America in the film as well as on TV, I'm highly skeptical of that. As like, don't get me wrong, I love The Rock. I love the movies that he's been in. Dude's made gobs and gobs of money to this point with the movies he's been in, as he's, um, most of them anyway. I mean, San Andreas was, was, uh, crap, basically. But the more kind of just over-the-top stuff that he's done, as far as, like, the Fast and Furious franchise, how he came in there, basically took over that and then kind of made it so he needed to have his own spinoff um, to fully encapsulate all of his, you know, Dwayne Johnson-ness to his own movie. Him being in the uh, his movies with Kevin Hart, Jumanji, so he's done good stuff. But it's like, and dude's like uh, charismatic, put the butts in the seats. But do we really need a Black Adam movie at this point? Is he, or at least with him? Now I, I know he's a draw, not always because he has had some duds. So it's not like you're putting the rock in there because you're guaranteeing a certain amount of money. At this point, you don't have the trust and faith in the pub from the public and moviegoers that Marvel has where they can just throw out almost anything and expect to make money because they have that track record. DC doesn't have that. Now, of course, this is not going to be part of the DCEU because that's basically dead and it was stupid of them from the beginning to want the Marvel money but not go about it the Marvel way. If they were going to copy that, which Marvel put out, you know, smaller character movies and then put them all together. DC wanted to just throw out, put them all together and then do the smaller character movies. They just, they were doing it backwards just because they were all they were doing was seeing the billions that the Avengers got. So that's stupid. So the DC is, is dead, basically. Um, but the idea that, so, so like I said, there's, there's no trust in from the public. So there's no guarantee that this movie is going to make money um the rocks no spring chicken dude's in phenomenal shape we know he's like you know up four in the morning whatever it is clanging and banging and, and stuff as he loves to say on his instagram and, and stuff like that working out and everything but still by the same time he's no spring chicken i know there's um hgh and other you know medicinal ways to kind of keep your form and physique that some folks in certain tax brackets are more privy to than you know <laughs> the rest of us little people so that can keep him going a little bit, but you know these franchise movies—you got to think that's at least um, they at least usually want like a uh, trilogy out of them, and then you're talking at least like eight, nine, ten years that you're putting into franchise. So does he have it? Because that'll put him, you know, older to say the least. So it's from that standpoint, it's, and I know I'm always the one championing in my videos that I'm tired of Superman, I'm tired of Batman, we need other characters to get some shine. So, right, from that standpoint, I should not be against a Black Adam movie. I'm not necessarily, it's just, um, 
a Black Adam movie with The Rock, I guess, at this point, is kind of where I'm at. I mean, I don't even really like Black Adam as a character. I'm not a huge fan. I'm up for anything that's different. Um, the idea of having him in Shazam movie, I was fine with, or a Shazam sequel, I was cool with. Um, but then again, to not, again, go off my own argument, um, that I just, my own point that I just made, you don't want to sit there and have him just rushed into Shazam. If he can do a movie that develops him, brings him some character, that's stuff you don't have to do in the Shazam movie, just have them come to blows early and often and have that really be the highlight of the movie. Now, ideally, it would not go the way of Batman vs Superman, where they were all tearing, you know, Batman's like wanting to kill Superman until he finds out his mom's name is Martha, and then they're high-fiving and they're best friends. Shazam, Captain Marvel, and Black Adam say Shazam when they activate their powers. So are they going to be like, oh, you say Shazam, I say Shazam, we're best friends. And then they fight whatever common threat is present in the movie. Hopefully it doesn't go that way. Uh, just, I'm really hopeful it doesn't go that way. Because that would be stupid. But it's just, at this point in time, with the developmental delays, and they say they're going to start in August... Will they? The Jar No Shazam 2 is going to be delayed because of all this. And are things going to be correct back to normal in um, July, August, September? <laughs> Dang it. Bulldozer. Ugh. I'm knocking stuff off my stop motion table here. Latest stop motion survivors, episode one, you can see it. Features this figure here, who I really hated using because of these toy biz joints. Oh my god, it was terrible. And the bendy feet, like joint articulation, stupid, hated. I'm glad it's, it's done. But anyway, I digress. Will things be back to normal by the time they say they're, they will be and that they want to start filming? <sighs> Who knows? So more delays, rocks. I mean, he's got other projects in the hopper and stuff like that. I mean, uh, the, the director, um, other people as part of the cast and crew, they're not going to just be sitting around the, resting on their laurels waiting for you know, Black, uh, Black Adam started filming, and that's what happens in a lot of these movies where people get kind of moved around because of scheduling, stuff like that. Like, the whole history of the X-Men, you know, Fox franchise could have been different because Doug Ray Scott was supposed to be Wolverine shooting conflicts with Mission Impossible 2, pulled, pulled him in that direction. Hugh Jackman comes on the scene, rest is history. So how would it have been if those scheduling conflicts didn't happen? But they do. So pushing this movie, um, delaying the start of it, of course, everything's delayed, so that might work in their favor but it's just with the delays and developmental hell dc's checkered history as far as their movies go do we really need a black adam movie i don't know i haven't come to a really good consensus on that what do you guys out there think let me know in the comments below follow me social media stay safe stay clean wash your hands keep your distance all that fun stuff protect the old people protect those with weaker immune systems uh yeah that's all i got let us geek